Life before Mona V was uh, a little different. Um, I was out here every day, Monday through Friday, a lot of times on the Saturdays out here constantly, you know, walking through the irrigation, checking water on the plants, you know, just checking on orders, things like that, making sure everything was going okay, pumps were okay, time clocks were on. Well, when I first actually got introduced into Mona V, it was a phone call I had gotten from my uncle in Fort Lauderdale, just actually invited me down on the lobster trip. So I was like, yeah, sure, I'd love to come down. I hadn't seen my uncle for a long time. And so I actually drove down there. It was probably around 4.30, 5 o'clock in the afternoon. And when I walked into his house, he had a bottle of Monavie sitting on his counter. And I had never seen it before. I actually thought it was a bottle of red wine. And I'm sure a lot of people here, you know, the first time they saw, they kind of were probably thought it was a bottle of red wine as well. When I asked uh, my aunt if she would like to have a glass of red wine with me, she kind of smiled and said, no, Devin, this is not red wine. She has a product called Monavie. Have you ever heard about it? Well, no, I never have. She goes, well, you're a palm tree expert. Have you ever heard of the acai palm? And then I really started scratching my head. I was like, well, no, I never, you know, I never really heard of the acai palm either. She went over to the refrigerator, came out and poured us, you know, three big glasses full. We sat there and we all took, you know, drinks of Mona V and kind of toasted. And she had given me a couple bottles. She said, here, we want you to try it. We'd probably drink about half of that bottle. My uncle actually gave me a second bottle. I brought him back up here to Stewart, a gentleman by the name of Charlie Kalb stopped by my house on a Saturday afternoon um, you know for some 26 year old kid in Stewart Florida to tell me a little bit about the opportunity um, you know with Monavie. I called my brother uh, Sarah and Clemmy had all come over to my house that afternoon and we were sitting here waiting for Charlie to get here and when he came knocking on my door the first question he asked me was if I had a TV and I looked at him and said no I have no TV He goes well do you got a computer something we could play a DVD on I said well no I don't have a computer either so he walked back out to his car got his laptop, brought it back, and we sat there, watched this story DVD. You know, the first meeting that was ever at my house, there was only four people there. And out of those four people now, we have a emerald, a diamond, a blue diamond, and a black diamond. So how many people didn't want to do that meeting? You know, I'd bring the product with me to work every day. And when I was out there at my farm, simply when a customer or a tree farmer or a landscaper would pull in there and they would say, hey, Devin, you know, you know, can you come show me around the nursery? I would just throw at them. I'd say, hey, how much fruit did you eat today? And they would look at me like a deer in the house. They'd go, what did you just say? And I'd say, well, how much fruit did you eat today? And they would say, well, I didn't eat any fruit today. I'd say, well, how much fruit did you eat yesterday? Well, I didn't eat any fruit yesterday. And I'd say, well, great, come on over. And I would take my bottle of Mona V right then, and I'd pour them a shot right there, cheers at work. You know, it'd be, you know, 100 degrees here in Florida. And so we'd sit there and have our shots, pour our shots of Mona V at work. And, you know, and that's how I actually got them to where they first started tasting it while I was working. One thing that I wanted to do when I was actually introducing people into Mona V, you know, being that it is from the rainforest, is I actually wanted to try to create a rainforest in my backyard. I wanted to create an oasis that people could be a part of, come into, really take their mind off their work. I couldn't think of a better way to give somebody a shot or a better location to give them a shot of Mona V. This is actually where we began our Mona V tasting parties. I would bring people out here, you know, and there'd be up to 60, 70, 80 people sitting out here on my patio on a, on a given night and I think it was a really cool way to expose people to Mona V and the product, being that, you know, Mona V and the acai is from Brazil. You know, it kind of made people feel like they were in the rainforest. So after our tasting meetings, this is kind of where the party will end up at in Mona Ritaville. And what we do is we actually have formatted our own little form of uh, Mona V cocktails. And we all hang out, we watch the Saturday, Sundays, everybody's here hanging out watching the football games. and kind of brought the beach and the whole island atmosphere out here where people can just flip flop it, board shorts, come out and kick back. One thing that I didn't want people to miss out on when I was coming through Stewart to do my meetings driving around, I didn't want people to miss out on this thing. I mean, you know, you got some people out there that just aren't seeing it. So I wanted to get something that when I drove around the road, you know, I didn't want people that were missing out on this thing. I didn't want them to miss out anymore. I wanted them to be able to see Mona V on the move, baby. And so what we were doing with our tasting parties is we named, we got my truck, we named it Juiced Up. And this is what we took to all our Mona V tasting parties down the highway, full with product, full with tools, and ready to go share the opportunity and product with new distributors. A lesson that I really think that people should, uh, you know, take home from this is when people tell you that you can't do Mona V, you know, that you don't have time, you can't do it. It was kind of like when people were first telling me that I can't grow acai palms. You know, I could have looked at that and gave up right then, but that word's not really in my vocabulary. So I went out there and uh, I ordered 30,000 of them and grew them anyway. What you guys are looking at here are the acai palms. These should be ready to come out of here, I'd say within about four to five months. 
is when we'll be taking them out of these trays and we'll be moving them into one of our shade houses. This is actually a one gallon acai palm. We've actually also put them in three gallon acai as well, just to kind of see which one will root faster. And this is going to be our finished product. This is the, what you're looking at is around a 45 gallon acai. We just put them in 45 gallon containers. When this thing gets finished, uh, it's a multi-trunk palm. It's going to get in these containers probably about max of 12 foot tall. We look to get one of these things in each and every one of your homes or offices or wherever you guys want an acai palm, they're coming. One of the concepts that I think that really hits home with people if you're trying to teach them, you know, about the binary and really how to get established in the business, you know, to me it really hit home fast because I grow palm trees and bamboo for a living. You will learn that you cannot grow a palm tree without establishing a healthy root system. And so with Mona V, you know, if you're out there looking at how you want to build your tree, but well, you got to go out there and you got to build a healthy root system or your tree was never going to grow. So when I kind of would show my plan, I would kind of simply look at people and I'd say, hey, look at this, guys. You know, this is your roots. You know, you're looking, you want to see your ranks, you know, your tree growing. That's great, but you got to establish this root right here. And the roots that you establish is by creating the relationships with the people. And how healthy are these relationships? Are you calling the people? Are you doing things for the people? So I think it had to really, you know, go back to establishing that healthy root system, you know, and then right there, if you did that from the beginning, then, you know, you'd have success with your tree and it would grow. So now that I'm Black Diamond, knowing that I'm going to have to travel a lot, now I get to travel in Black Diamond style in my brand new S550 four-door Mercedes. What a phenomenal car that Mona V gives you for free for taking the time to share this opportunity. Voila. One thing that I'm really excited about introducing to you guys today is my brand new mobile office. I just actually went, I picked this thing up yesterday over in Tampa, drove it back over here. People ask me, I picked it like, Devin, can you drive this thing? I was like, heck yeah, I can drive it. I mean, so I'm just really, really excited about taking this thing out on the road, pouring juice with all my friends and family. So thank you, Mona V, for everything. This is actually incredible. Woo! And I look forward to coming back out to Utah, seeing you guys soon. Thank you very much, Mona V. And uh, we look forward to seeing you guys on the road. Take care.